Okay, we're moving on with the tutorials here from Michael Kinsler, and we're going for these global cart settings we're still in. And there's a lot of subcategories. Now we're moving on to order cart settings. So I'll click on that. This is very straightforward. Again, and I'll show you basically what this is all about. Now, <coughs> pardon me, the first one is visitor C price. Fairly straightforward. They either see the price of the product or they don't see the price. Now, if we go back to my website, which we're building, you can see it's in dollars. Yeah, they can see the price. Now, watch this. We change that to no, and we save the same. Okay, now, once that's done, we will refresh the page. Remember to do that all the time when you do a change in the admin because it changes your website straight away. And you will see here, it will show you call for price. You either log in or register, and that's the same for them all. Okay, so the call for price will stay the same, but the ones with the, with the prices on them, you have to log in or register to see the prices. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. So we'll change that back to yes, because I want them to see the, the, the prices. Next one again, visitor may add an item. Yes, just leave that the way it is. Allow to create an account. Now they can either create an account or you can stop them. There's three options. Sorry, there's two options there with the yes. Check out process mode. Leave that alone. That stays exactly where it's at. Minimal order number one. Good enough. If you want to have bulk orders only, minimal order 10, 20, 30 depending on what your web page is. After product added go to current page. Now you can change that to go to cart page. But I would leave it at current page, it's fine. Um I don't use these at all, but minimal order sub subtotal level I mean I don't use them. You can split them up. And that's been quite honest with you. Um display terms and conditions checkbox. Now make sure that that is displayed. Yes. Enable wish list. Now I have got this set at default. It's actually at default. So we change that to yes. And that's basically a bit done in there. So we save the changes. And you will notice now the prices will come back. But the wish list will I show you right now will come back in again. And it's fairly straightforward. Once you go through, see the prices are back again. Click on one of them, and you will see the wish list come in here. Add to wish list. In other words, they want this, but you know, this is how some of the websites work. Um, and that's it. Basically, that's your shopping cart there, and that's how you manage it here. Okay, so we'll move on to the next tutorial then.